Another question we get um, in the technical department is uh, my bucket won't lift and tilt. And that's normally a gear pump, but they usually ask, can I just buy a seal kit or uh, can I just get a seal kit to fix it? Mm -hmm. No, that's the short answer. The long answer, because I always want to know why. Uh, th this is a, either, this pump's aluminum, some are steel. They're all the same basic idea. There's a housing, a pump body, and there's steel gears. And the way a gear pump works is the one shaft is turning one way, could be either way. It engages the other shaft, turns it the other way. And at first glance, it looks like the oil will be going through that way, because, right, the gears are going that way in the center. It doesn't work like that, because these gears are, gears are actually sealed uh, much better than I can draw. So the oil cannot go through here. In fact, the oil comes in here and it fills up these hollow as the gears separate that hollow part in the gear gets bigger sucks in oil right here moves it the oil around outside the gear and then as the gears engage it forces out the oil out here <coughs> when there's damage somewhere in this area where the gear contacts the housing it leaks. It, that's what a worn gear pump looks like. There's no fix. The guts, the gears are bad. The housing is bad. Most of the time, if it's wore out because of either contamination, the bushings might still be good and just the main parts wore. But usually, as they age, the bushings in the end caps that uh, hold the gears in place will wear and that allows the gear to move and wear into the housing because you got high pressure here and low pressure here it's pushing the gears sideways and the bushings are wore the whole pump it's just gear pumps wear out uh, if they're aluminum they're not rebuildable some of the steel ones we can replace the pieces save you some money but if it's aluminum it's just a throwaway gear pump